Pre nepuni godinu dana rađena Lasevska endovenska ablacija Velike Safene. Tada je lateralna akcesorna vena bila minimalno insuficijentna i nekoliko meseci kasnije su se ponovo pojavile te vene i na pregledu vidimo jednu dosta značajnu insuficijenciju te lateralne akcesorne vene. Evo sada možemo da vidimo i klinički, a evo možemo sad i da čujemo i komentar. So, if you can hear me, I would start with the duplex, as I did before. Okay. Is it okay? Okay, you see varices here. You have to show this, and then, when needed, this, okay? Yes. The varices here are clearly on the anterolateral face of the leg. How many pregnancies uh, did you get? One. Okay. She and you got she got pregnancy before or after the operation? Before, before. Ah, before. Okay. So these are recurrent viruses as Professor Popovich told likely linked to the anterior accessory saphenous vein because the great saphenous vein was treated. Let's have a look now from the duplex point of view. <coughs> okay, here we are at the saphenous junction. Okay, you see now if I go down, probably this is the, sa the great saphenous vein, probably, and this is over the femoral vessel, the alignment sign, alignment sign, okay? So, basically, it is over the femoral vessel. I don't know if it is incompetent, probably it is incompetent. Over the femoral vessel, over the femoral vessel, dilation here, perforator probably here, over and it is a bit with some remnants okay anyway and then from the saphenous compartment look at the fascia there is a fascia here maybe you can see a little bit from the saphenous compartment it moves out of the saphenous oh now is out you see look this is inside the compartment this is saphen accessory anterior is small these are the tributaries. The saphena is normal, the tributaries are varicose. Again, saphena accessory anterioris, saphena accessory anterioris, saphena accessory anterioris, saphena accessoria. This is saphena accessory anterioris, small and competent. These are tributaries in Russia, Pretoki. I don't know in Serbia. Pritoka, in Russian Pritoki, in, Rus in Serbian Pritoka. Okay, these are all Pritoka, 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 okay? So all these viruses are Pritoka of anterior accessory saphenous vein. And below the point where the reflux moves to the tributaries, very likely the anterior accessory saphenous vein is competent here, 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 here and then finish. There is no more anterior accessory saphenous vein, okay? Now, let's check for a second with the color. Let me start from the junction. So we may ask for... A wait a second. No. Okay, I may ask for a Valsalva, just a second. Okay, here you see the terminal valve. Do you see it? This is the terminal valve. One and two. Yeah. You see the valve. That's the terminal valve, which is very likely incompetent. And from the junction, it goes to the anterior because the grate was treated here. Okay? Now we check with color. Red is normal, remember, because it is inverted at the moment. First I do compression release, and we see some blue. 
Now we ask for Valsalva. Stop. Did you see when she was pushing? I will show you again. OK, here is the flow from the common femoral vein through the terminal valve, OK? Because this is the terminal valve area. This is common femoral vein. So we have an incompetence of the terminal valve of the saphenofemoral junction and a reflux which goes into the anterior accessory saphenous vein. Uh, the pointer to the move here. OK, perfect. So now we study again anatomy here and check for reflux. Again, I put color. Let me check. Compression red, release, blue. OK, there is a reflux. If I use a power, sorry, if I use a pulse Doppler, OK, everything is clear. So we have to treat the anterior accessory saphenous vein and then the tributary. If we use, now you can shift here, if we use foam for this and this, I have to make the first part on the anterior accessory and the second part on the tributaries. She's slim, young, demanding from the cosmetic point of view. I don't know how to say. <laughs> OK. So I don't want a, a huge pigmentation. Probably we can use 1% fibrovein or 1.5, I would say 1%, and we would use 0 0.5 for the tributaries. I know it's not such a high concentration, but step by step, it sh she should be treated. And I love to treat only this past in the first session because these viruses will shrink after the first session. And you can treat the, the residual viruses in the second and third session with lower concentration because the blood inside is less after closing the proximal part. OK, now, can we? See with the light, yeah. clean first. Now I will mark the varices again. Can you clean? <coughs> okay. Oh, my pen is here. I take the pen, sorry. So what I can do is to mark on the skin where the varices are, like this, this, this. Again, I'm marking everything because I don't know where I will puncture, how foam will spread. So let's say all thigh varices will be marked. OK, if you agree, I would limit this part. It's OK? OK, now you can lie down. So I want to inject in a good position like this one, because the upper part is about 10 centimeters, not more. Yes? So maybe this is a good position. Let me check. Otherwise, we will use the traditional supine position. Let me check. So this is the anterior accessory saphenous vein. You can see, OK? Here it is. I could inject this way, or let me check, sorry, now, supine not normal, OK? Or I could inject this way. Let me check. Well, I prefer this way. OK, I prefer. So I can go a little bit higher, OK? I'm around 10 centimeters below the saphenofemoral junction. You, can, you are showing, yeah, this part? 10 centimeters. About 10 centimeters, about here, OK? Could be here where I inject the patient. Under the duplex guidance, in this case, 
okay a little bit open and like this so now I have to check which needle this is not for 25 16 but it is better 25 gauge 25 millimeter because it's about uh, one centimeter and a half behold, below the skin and uh, yeah. Oh, one centimeter below the skin, so it's, and the vein is about four millimeter. Can you measure the vein? Sorry. Uh, no, no. To understand uh, how, how much is the. Uh, it's about four millimeter. Four yeah, millimeters. four millimeter. <coughs> okay, so the vein is four millimeter. And uh, uh, it's about one centimeter the, the 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 wall from the skin. So I prefer to use in this case 25 gauge, 25 millimeter long needle. Let's restart. This is ready. I take the usual syringe. So I will use one percent fibro vein for the anterior accessory saphenous vein. I take my needle, sorry. Sorry. Uh, we make injections here, okay? <laughs> so again, I take one percent fibro vein. the new syringe and I take one milliliter of one percent fibro vein then I go for four milliliter of air okay so we will have at the end nearly as usual four milliliter of foam connect and put it here then I need cotton with the disinfectant and the needle so in this case I will use 25 gauge the longer one which is this one okay and I will cannulate the weight under the duplex control as I, as I understood you most, most time use 25 gauge I would say for tri for foam, ninety five percent of the cases for foam. Yes. So okay, we know where we have to inject around this area, probably around here. It's a little bit larger, about four millimeter. I prepare my foam, needle ready. This is ready. Okay. I will get probably four milliliter of foam. Yeah, about four. Take the needle, bevel up. There we go. And this puncture. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, disinfection. the needle pushing the wall somehow I will aspirate you see blood and I can inject I saw blood in my needle I hope you saw as well and I am injecting now it's going upwards uh, don't, don't, don't talk don't move <laughs> sorry I'm injecting my phone which is going upwards, okay? You see the foam into the vein. I'm following the foam upwards, far from the injection site. You see I'm going, yes. can you show also clinically uh, with my probe where I'm going? 
I'm going, going, going upwards, upwards. And now I go back, back, back to check the entrance point for any extravasation, okay? This is the entrance point. Here it is. And there is no extravasation. I'm injecting slowly, slowly about four milliliters of foam. You calculate four, four well, three in, in this case, three, three of, well, in this case, three and a half, let's say I injected. Okay. Can, can you throw it away? Because I wanted to show. Can you take it? Okay, thank you. Because I wanted to show you now much yellow. Okay, now this is the distal part. I go upwards. Okay, I started to inject here and somehow foam went only upwards, you see? Now I'm going, do you see the foam? It's here. Here is the foam, here is the foam, here is the foam. I'm following the foam. You see the black shade? And I'm going into the junction. That's the junction, OK? Terminal valve, common femoral vein, no bubble inside. If she doesn't move, doesn't speak, you see very little bubble entering because the terminal valve is anyway kind of barrier. If you want to see bubbles, she just needs to talk, and you will see a lot of bubble. If you, you don't, don't want, want to see. You yes. don't want to see. OK, yeah, so she doesn't talk. Yeah doesn't laugh, doesn't move, does nothing. <laughs> we go down, we prepare for the second injection in a while, okay? This is completely into spasm. If we look uh, in longitudinal, here is, you see? Here is the vein, here, here. Here, I'm going down. This is, and this is the part where I did not inject. Look, curious to see, it went only upwards and nearly nothing downwards, okay? Nothing downwards. So I can still inject the anterior saphenous vein, okay? I prepare for the other injection. Now, again the syringe. Well, I use, well, I prefer to use now 0 0.5 because if I inject here around this area, I expect foam goes to the tributaries. If I use 1% here, the tributaries will get 1%, which is not good, it's too much. I prefer to use 0 0.5 so that foam going here will not be spoiling too much, it will not be inflammating too much. So I take 1% combined with 0.2% and I get 1 milliliter. It's about 0 0.6. Now, 4 milliliter of air Here we go. Now, <coughs> let me check. I take again the needle, which is the longer one. I don't know if still we need to cannulate the anterior accessory. Be slightly moving like this, OK. Because it may be foam going. Let me check. There could be. No, no, no. There is no foam, so we can still cannulate this vein. Okay, now, okay, the anterior accessory vein is still patent, so I can try to do something. I prepare my foam and the needle and cannulate, okay? About four milliliter needle. Bevel up. We can try maybe here. Oh. 
Okay. Always puncture in cranial. In transverse, you mean? Sorry, just a second, I check. That's the needle. Now, I aspirate blood. You see blood. And I start to give foam. Well, I didn't see so much blood because foam is just there. So I trusted that I was in because anyway, I saw blood. Anyway, I saw blood. No blood, no injection. And now I'm giving foam. How do you know that the, the foam does not go upwards again? No, I mean, it could go upwards. It could go, it, it will go for sure. So it's a kind of. Uh, reinforcement I mean of the process uh, upwards but anyway because of the chemical mechanical barrier upwards it will go downwards anyway I expect it will go downwards for sure it will go upwards I agree but that's not Is there any danger for no 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 I mean pushing previous foam well, but the previous system. foam is gone anyway oh, okay. you have just the string so I'm injecting, let's say, a little bit. I would stop, let me check, and the foam is going down, you see? Now I can inject without duplex guidance very quickly. Let me check here. I try here, okay, without duplex guidance. Aspiration. There could be already foam. Okay, here we are. And I give the residual one milliliter and a half. And it went up to here, down to here. So anterior accessory and about to here was treated. Okay? Maybe. I will check. So this is the anterior, then you see, the anterior, here it is, if you can show the, the duplex, okay, anterior, anterior, completely filled with foam, and now, pretoka, pretoki? Pritoka. Pritoka. And shadow. And shadow, yes. Shadows. Oh, we have to work here. We have to work, you see? Because it went this side, other pretoka, pretoka, but this, no. So now foam is probably arriving, but I don't like because there is some blood. Please work. We have to make the very last injection, OK? The very last injection will be, again, 0 0.5 about. Now I don't, 0 0.5, yes. Now I need a shorter needle. I go back to the shorter needle again. Can you give me a cotton with the disinfectant? Prepare my foam, and I will check, yeah, I will check where to inject, under duplex guidance maybe. Okay. Look at the beautiful foam. Let me check, sorry. Ah, the foam went. Ah, probably no chance to cannulate. Let me check if I can. Because the foam already entered a little bit, but I want to check. Enter. Ah, maybe here. Let me try.
blood, and we go. And I give four milliliter because now it will go downwards a lot. So as overall, we used about 11 milliliter, let's say, okay, 11, 12 milliliter. Now I will check everything, and we have finished, okay. So let's check anterior accessories here. Then go downwards. That's the anterior. So this is the anterior here with the, ca the shadow zone, okay, very small, very small, Tritoka, anterior, 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 here, here, anterior, and Pritoka, okay. Now we have a lot of foam on the Pritoka, we go down, all Pritoka filled with foam, some perforator yeah, it yeah, could be yeah, here, here it is here it is yeah. so all the rest is filled with, pre with, with the foam oh, probably the foam stops somewhere here yeah okay. okay now what we can do so I never do like this, I always do like this, very, very quiet, nearly not moving the skin. Well, some gel it's not a problem, it helps with the cotton. And I create a, a kind of... Uh, okay, something like this, okay? I would wait for four or five minutes more because okay. still some foam is there. And then we put the cohesive bandage and then we put the, mm, the Struva uh, 35, I think yes, she I has, yeah? some feelings here in this region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, here we, had, uh, we have inflammation already. For sure there is uh, some uh, reddening a little bit. It's something which goes a little bit like this, should be a little bit going exactly. downwards. Uh, you will get tender cords in this area. In two months, nearly everything is vanished. But you need probably to do some clot evacuation if needed. You see. At the procedure, uh, do they, they line should lay down, should down or, or, or a walk? Oh, no, you can go, you can go. You can go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. After 10 minutes. Yeah, after 10 okay. minutes you can go, yes, yes. You don't use uh, Trendelenburg position. Sorry? Trendelenburg. Yes, I, I, I love Trendelenburg position, you are right, but I, here I did it yes. as I do. Okay, Normally okay. I just uh, lift a little yeah, bit yeah. or I put a pillow below. Okay, stop. I'm completing with the cohesive bandage. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Down. Last question. Do, do everything by himself. Yeah. Well, I have a nurse, but today I'm here. I don't okay. want to disturb. <laughs> so. Okay, now again Struva 35, Struva let's say 30 around here, 25, 20, maybe 15. But here if you get a measurement under Struva you would get for sure 20, 25 minimum if not 30 around this area, okay, because of the change of the radius. If you use a, a slightly tougher cotton then you can get even higher because it depends on the uh, kind of material you use also. Now I give you this. Now she will tell you about Struve again. Okay. Can you help me please? Yes, 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 Thank yes. you. Yeah, well. Just a second, we put the microphone. Thank you. Now we will prepare struva for butler. We always use rubber gloves because of easy application. Struva provides us a comfortable solution against a classic compressive bandage. We have graduated compression as well we have a comfort for patient. Transparent knitting. Okay. Now the stocking is ready for application. So in this case, I would recommend a minimum of two days and two nights without removing nothing and so on and so on. Very, very carefully. Seven days during the, during the day, or no, someone gets got it. In the next control, I would recommend some uh, stocking anyway. So let's say you check up in 20 days. So for 20 days, you should wear 235. 